time for a vet minute with Dr. Amy Hansen, a contributing veterinarian with Revival Animal Health. Dr. Hansen will be talking to us today about dental issues that are unique to cats. Dr. Hansen, what are some of the issues cats face in regard to their dental health? Well, there are several. Cats are kind of unusual creatures and they like to have their own little issues. Uh, one of the main things we see, especially in young and juvenile cats, is they do have a tendency to get some gingivitis um, that is associated with them getting their permanent teeth in. Um, and a lot of times we have breeds that have a little bit more problems with gingivitis. Uh, breeds like Maine Coons, Abyssinians, Ragdolls, um, they can have a little bit more problem with gingivitis or red gums. Uh, some, sometimes it's described in the literature as red gum disease. Um, but for the most part, the really big ones that we see in cats are resorptive lesions, which are painful disintegrations of the tooth. Their, their own immune system kind of eats into the tooth and causes the pulp cavity where the blood supply and the nerve supply to the tooth is located. And this is a very painful process um, and usually can only be corrected with uh, extracting that particular tooth. Another issue that cats have is uh, stomatitis. Uh, some, it's in the literature under several different names, phocytis, lymphocytic, plasmacytic stomatitis, uh, caudal stomatitis, um, but it's basically, a, 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 it can be mild to severe inflammation of the gingival tissue. Um, and some of these cats, it can become so severe that they actually have to have their entire set of teeth extracted in order to basically stop their immune system from attacking their own teeth. Um, and like I said, it can range from very mild disease that can be sometimes treated with just dental prophylaxis and also some medic uh, medications uh, to some of them that need to have full mouth extractions performed. So since a cat can't really tell us when something is wrong with their mouth, what are the signs and symptoms you should really look for when it comes to these feline dental health issues? And what can happen if these dental issues go untreated? It's very difficult in a cat to know that there something's going on because they don't like to hide or they like to hide their illnesses. Uh, they don't want anybody to know anything is going on. Uh, some people will see and they even though their mouth hurts, they will continue to eat. Uh, so a lot of times we see little subtle things like dropping their food when they're eating or using just one side of their mouth uh, to chew on. Uh, pawing at the mouth, and also reaction. I mean, some of them are very uh, rigorous reactions. Some will vocalize when they eat um, and jerk away from their food because they have a pain sensation in their mouth. Um, if it goes on, um, some of those, the bacteria and everything that's in the mouth can actually get into the bloodstream and go to other organs. So you can have infections in other organs of the body. And just mainly it's, it's a painful process. So that pain and all that stress uh, releases some hormones that, that can cause other issues uh, in the cat. Sometimes they can, we can see weight loss without any explanation. I mean, the blood work looks fine, but we have weight loss. One of my own cats, he started grooming all of the fur off of his back legs and losing a significant amount of weight. We did blood work and everything, and everything was normal, uh, but we did find one resorptive lesion on one tooth, and when we took that tooth out, everything went back to complete normal. So cats are, are little alien creatures, and they like to sometimes manifest illness in very different ways. That's why it's important to have annual exams with your veterinarian so that we can catch some of these things. You kind of just touched on that. You know, if you suspect your cat has a dental issue, 
what are your options for treating these issues and is a vet visit needed at that point? Brushing your cat's teeth on a regular basis is the best preventative care that you can have. Um, but I know some cats, it's very difficult for individuals to actually brush their cat's teeth. And there are some at-home treatments, regular vet visits and exams that include an oral exam uh, are really important to catch these things because it might be a resorptive lesion way at the back of the mouth that uh, you're just not seeing or you're not seeing any behaviors that indicate that that cat's having pain. Uh, so regular visits, um, dental pro, uh, prophylactic uh, cleanings are a good thing. It helps just like you and I, you know, we get all that plaque and, and bacteria underneath our gum line and getting a professional cleaning done gets that plaque and bacteria out from underneath the gum line. Many places also have dental radiography that's included with their dental cleanings. And that way, that gives us an, an idea of what's going on underneath the gum line where we can't see um, and we can catch problems there. So, you know, routine, some cats may need more than once a year cleaning. Some of them that have the stomatitis or the re are prone to the resorptive lesions may need every six months. Um, but it's very important at least once a year to have your cat examined by a veterinarian and they can make any oral recommendations that they see fit. Hi, if you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing to the Revival Animal Health YouTube channel. If you have a pet health question, call our pet care pros at this number and don't miss our other pet health videos.